with sporadic engraving where it continues to you kind of get dark spots and then light spots or it could fade um, anything like that after you've cleaned the lens and the mirrors and you're still getting a fade across or you may notice when it's coming down it's starting to fade or it gets darker the next very step you're going to want to do is check the Z alignment on your actual table so once you've reorigined the machine which is what Tim just showed you and you're still getting that issue on the next engraving you'll want to go ahead turn your machine off you're going to leave it off for about five seconds Go ahead and flip it on, let it load all the way to ready to receive. We're just letting it boot up here. Once it goes, it'll go to your grab -a graph screen just like it did with Tim. And now you've got ready to receive. So you're just going to press your any of the arrow keys. We always normally just tell people to press the left arrow key. You'll notice it went back home. You can open your door now. It will not load unless you have the door closed at the, on the very first steps. All right, so what you're going to do is bring your head assembly out. And incidentally, the reason why we're doing this is a lot of the times we find that the table itself can be not level. All right, and this is going to test for that right now. So you have your head assembly in your first corner. You're going to take your focal tube and put it over there. You'll notice that this is just a little bit too tight. So you can bring it out a little bit more because you're never really going to laser there because that's the very, very bad corner. So come out here normally where you have product as well. And you'll notice that it's just hitting it. So on this point right now, this corner is just a tad bit higher than the center of the table. Once you do that corner, you'll go ahead and bring it over here to the next corner. Do the same thing. Put your focal tube in there and see what happens. All right, you'll notice that it again is right there, extremely tight but fits under that first part of the corner. So essentially, this matches the left corner. So you're gonna to come to the front corner, and you'll notice again, it's the exact same spot. It doesn't fit all the way underneath there, you'll notice that, it's not designed to. But you'll see that it fits right dead even with it right now which is what refocusing the lens does. It puts it at the perfect depth, which is this size. So this will not fit underneath there, but it should match up perfectly with it. So we've got three corners. They're all the same right now. And once again, the exact same thing. So this is exactly the same height which is what you want to have happen here. If this can fit all the way underneath it, or this is completely down, and you'll notice that it could be up here, or something like this, like an eighth of an inch, or even a sixteenth of an inch, that's gonna throw off your quality of your engraving. Because the laser is designed to, essentially what happens, for those that don't actually know how it works, the beam inside shoots a beam through three mirrors, it focuses through the lens. So essentially what you can think about is it's hitting your product perfect like this, all right? So if it's too high or too low, you're gonna get this or this, which is what you cannot have.